Hey guys, Nitsa Gamer here, back for Super Mario Sunshine after a very long delay of getting this part out. I'm very sorry. It's just post commentary is such a pain in the ass, and also, well, it's also because of the movie and the school and stuff. So yeah, the following is post commentary, and this is part. Uh, which part is this? Uh, part 15. And I thought this was going to be my last episode for post-commentary, but apparently not. I apparently have two episodes left, because I've already started, I've already recorded my third session yesterday. Today is uh, December 11th, and to think that I actually started the recording back at the end of July. But really, it's just post-commentary is such a pain in the ass, it's not that fun to do. Actually, let me just turn my headset down, because I'm not sure if the audio is interfering. Whoa, 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 someone's found a Yoshi egg. A real one. No way. Okay, I haven't really actually watched this entire video, so I don't know what I'm doing throughout all this. So I'm just improvising. It's like as if someone else played this, um, when technically it was me playing it five months ago, but let's just pretend someone else is playing it, and then I'm commentating. Okay, no, that person is me. Right, so we're doing the Yoshi's merry-go-round, and... Look at that! Only a orange Yoshi on the ride disappeared! What does it mean, mister? Huh? Huh? Yeah, you can't deny a cute little pink girl who is curious, huh? Yeah, so... I still have two parts of the post-commentary for Session 2, and then hopefully um, I can get parts of Session 3 up, because uh, Session 3 became a successful session, so, there was no audio problems, no speed ups, no video problems whatsoever. And for an addition, I'll be editing Session 3 in Final Cut Pro. But for the rest of this um, second session, I'll be editing it in iMovie just like all of my other Let's Play projects. Yeah, so I have to feed Yoshi this banana in order for him to turn uh, pink, but that's not the color that we're needing. Yeah, one way to actually turn green is just to, or not green, uh, orange is to actually eat the booger of the tree, and then we can just go to the merry-go-round. And we have to be an orange Yoshi in order to discover the secret. Wow, Yoshi, you can't squeeze between there? Bye-bye. How dare you steal Flood? I loved him! I mean, I sort of, I don't know, I guess he's a pest. Okay, screw it. I think I might die here a couple of times. I'm uncertain, but I'm not going to cut it out. So, yeah, I've already recorded my third session, so... Is there really a lot to talk about? I don't think so. Okay, so I've died the first time, and about two million more to go. I know this one is such a pain, I mean, it's actually really easy, but for some reason, whenever any other Let's Players do this, they say it's easy, but for some reason they keep on dying. At least I'm not the only one. Well, I actually was lucky there. Okay, do I get the one up or go ahead? No, I go ahead. Ah, I failed there, so I have to go back to the green, so that way I can go back to a red, so that way I can continue on over there. So far, so good. I'm not sure if I did die at this point, or if I actually only died once during this. I don't remember because I played this five months ago. Yeah, so, you know, instead of just slacking off not doing the post commentary on this, I have one week of school left before Christmas break, and I still have lots of scenes to film for our upcoming film. So you can tell I'm such a lazy person. But the truth is, I'm just out utterly tired, and it's really hard to get people working, you know? Oh, I know there's lots of interesting puzzles here. I mean, you gotta jump at the right time, or otherwise you're not gonna get on this. Yeah. Oh, I love how Mario floats there when the block goes down, so... 
I'm just gonna continue on, and yep, I got it on the second try. I could have sworn I died more than once on that, but apparently not. So at least I'm better than other Let's Players. Okay, I'm I'm being arrogant. Yeah. So I don't know how many shine sprites I'm collecting in this episode. I didn't even watch the clip. I'm just going through this blind. All right. So I go back in the cannon. Go back to Pina Park, and I believe I do the shot of Mario level. I believe I don't know for sure. Yep, shot of Mario in the park. It's so annoying watching this when you have a big recording looking thing covering your screen. Well, okay, well, it's at the corner, but it's still annoying. Yeah, so after I uh, do the post commentary for this, I have to do the post commentary for episode uh, 16. I'm making sure I'm saying the right number. So 15 and 16 I need to post commentate, and then 17 will be the beginning of my third session where I'll be collecting more shine sprites, and, I, and I'll and i be beating like Nuki Bay and uh, what's the other level? Nuki Bay and uh, uh, Serena Beach is pretty much the third session. Hey there Mr. Hero, I'm sure I'm seeing a lot of you lately. Hmm, I wonder why. Yes, so Shadamar is going to be such a pain to catch. Or not catch, um, defeat. We're not catching him. He ain't no Pokemon or some butterfly. Eh, just fall already. Damn you, Koopa to do. I don't even know what you are. Yeah, so our movie's actually going pretty well, if you're asking. Uh, are we behind? Yes, we are behind. We're hoping for the December release and all that. And by the way, if you ha if you know about Luigi's Mansion on LP or Zone, darn it all, I'll remember this. If you look at my Luigi's Mansion LP on LP or Zone, you'll notice that Area 3 is actually co-commentated by uh, the guy who's behind our movie, Miles Cott, or Clone Dude 5, as you might know I'm on YouTube, Clone Dude 5. And seriously, if you guys should subscribe to his channel, I have like way more subscribers than him, and he should get more subscribers than me. Not really. We deserve equal. Okay. Uh. But yeah, if you go to uh, Luigi's Mansion Area Three on LP or Zone, we'll uh, you'll actually see us talking about a, a lot about the movie. Same thing with uh, Sonic Adventure DX. Um. Uh, Tales is Let's Play. Yeah. I hate when I do the, uh, moments. I hate it when I do that. Because I can tell it always bores you guys, but I don't know. I don't know where I'm going next. I mean, I basically have two parts of this left, and as of now, I've recorded over uh, seven and a half minutes out of 19 minutes of this video, so... Let's see. I think I'm just. I'm think I'm trying to think of what to do because I don't know what to do. I don't know. Oh, I see. I I went to get the rocket nozzle so I could go over there. There we go. That makes sense. I don't think it's physically possible to get over here with any other with the hover nozzle. I think it is, considering there's trees there. But then again, those trees are more than likely indicating that there's a pipe there that you can go to. But I don't know. Okay, this level is going to be of much of a pain because I think I remember that I failed the first time because I couldn't get the one red coin. Because I think I made it go off the ledge, and then I had to do this level a second time. It was absolutely terrible, so I'm going to see what I'll do. Yeah, so this is the only level where there's ever a red bird. And, of course, as you know, green birds give you yellow coins, the normal coins. Blue birds give you blue coins. Uh, yellow birds, which are rare, give you shine sprites. And then, of course, well, the red coin, which is this, this is the only red bird that there is in this game, is pretty much the bird that will give you, um, well, that will give you the red coin. 
Would have been cool if they showed more red birds in this game, but no. They made this level in a way where basically you have to save your water because there's no place to actually refill your water whatsoever. Wait, I think this is it. Yep, because I knocked that plant off the ledge, I basically lost my chances to actually get eight red coins. And once I realized that I had seven, I realized that it was too late to turn back until I had to um, die on purpose and restart over again. So yeah, what I'm going to be doing is pretty much a waste of time, so I'll think of something uh, entertaining to talk about. Yeah, so I recently posted my test video, which should appear after this. It's called Test Record Before Recording. Yeah. Yeah, so Test Record Before Recording. It's basically me just... Ooh, you saved me. Thanks, a bundle. It's basically just, you know, trying to make sure I don't get any more speed-ups, because that's what happened during Luigi's Mansion Area 2, and, well, that was such a pain. I've been searching for the rare bird f of happiness now. Some 38 years now. Yep, it's been that long. Long road. The thing is, I've feeling lately like I've never catched up with it. It's small words, so if I so if I mispronounced a word, then at least you guys will understand. Yeah, so I did say in the um, in the uh, description that basically um, I had like only one part of of the after commentate or not after commentated post commentary Super Mario Sunshine for Area Two, and that I only had one part to upload. But then looking at this, it turns out that I actually have two parts left. And as much as I would love to actually, like, combine them together, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't want to watch a 40-minute part. Be because basically this part is 19 minutes, and whatever part you're going to get next is going to be either 20 or 21 minutes. And then you'll be getting uh, uh, Super Mario Sunshine Area 3 pretty soon, which I think I made the estimate of... 25 minutes for the first part and I've already made the first part for session 3 because I planned to use it on Final Cut Pro and it's actually very easy. Yeah, so I finally decided to die on purpose. So now hopefully I think it's this run I will be getting all 8 red coins. Now even though I have said this in my uh, session 3 because what I'm post commentating now it's pretty much what's after session three, so it's going to be utterly confusing. So, uh, I will talk about Super Mario 3D Land in uh, uh, session three, and I will say it's a great game, so I'm just going to leave that comment aside until you guys see session three. Yeah, so... There were at least two people who commented on my video, the... Um, the test record before recording, and that's Master Gamer Films. Um, he he was going to be a Let's Player, but then he kind of gave up on Let's Playing. But then afterwards, he actually created a new channel where he will be doing like Let's Plays on a different channel. So I'm guessing that the Master Gamer Films is more of his original channel, and he has another channel which is a gaming channel. I would have to find out what it is. Then the second person who commented, actually it was the first person who commented before Master Game Films is Dark Rhea New Moon. Uh, excuse me if I am saying that wrong. Yeah, so this is this was the plan that I pretty much knocked off the ledge. So just to avoid like making sure I don't knock it off the ledge, I basically went put it up against the walls to make sure I did get it for sure. So I'm um, three out of eight coins, so five coins to go. So time to say backpack guy if I no, I don't know. Do I Yep. It's hard to tell because I don't know what I'm doing in this. Yeah, let me see if I can find the gaming channel for Master Gamer Films. Let's see. Yeah, so on Master Gamer Films, he actually has like random videos included in uh, After Effects, um, to, like test videos and stuff. Okay, I think it's right here. No wrong channel. Uh, where was this channel? Here it is. Them Cool Dudes. That that's the name of his gaming channel. 
Yeah, just some cool dudes making cool videos. Okay, it doesn't state that it's a Let's Play channel, but he did say in uh, in a PM that this is going to be his LP channel, so... You know what, since I'm giving these three channels a shout-out, I'll put them in the description. Why not? I'm a nice guy. So them cool dudes, Master Gamer Films, and uh, Dark Rhea New Moon, something like that. Does Dark Maria New Moon even have anything on his channel? I think he does, but I don't know. Okay, he has five uploads, which is his first Minecraft video, Half-Life, Halo, Halo, Call of Duty. So, he actually does have um, uploads on his channels. He only has 14 subscribers, and I think he's been my number one fan for Super Mario Sunshine. So, I would definitely recommend uh, subscribing to these three channels. I'll put their links in the description. And that's also because um, uh, Master Gamer Films actually did actually give me like two shoutouts on when he was doing a Let's Play of Sonic Adventure DX. He eventually deleted them, but you know, just for saying thanks for giving me a shoutout, I'll shout out to him, why not? And I know there's a few people that actually asked if they could actually co-commentate and like... Um, in like Super Mario Sunshine. Well, considering that the um, these last two parts for Session 2, which this is my second part and then first part later on, um, considering that, um, you know, I'm gonna, like, all of Session 3 is all commentated, so you're, so you're either gonna have to wait, I think you're gonna have to wait until after I beat Bowser if you want to co-commentate. And that this is pretty much the message going towards those people who asked if they could co-commentate. Because I know there was one person that wanted to co-commentate in my Luigi's Mansion LP, but... So I might as well make him uh, commentate in my uh, uh, Super Mario Sunshine getting 100%, and then, of course, um, uh, what was the other? Sonic Adventure DX Mission Mode. I still have to release that video because I made it a few months back, but I haven't actually fully made it. It's basically a video where basically I'm, um, uh, you know what, you guys will see it, especially if you're watching my Sonic Adventure DX Let's Play. Alright, so I think we get one more Shine Sprite after this because I have under three minutes left to commentate. And then after that, I'll... I'll, s I'll pretty much um, export this into a movie file, and considering it's 1 p.m. at nighttime and I have school tomorrow, I mean, today's Sunday and I have school tomorrow, I think I might have to post commentate the, uh, the, uh, part, uh, uh, what's the part, uh, part 16, um, tomorrow or something. Yeah, so if we go in this room, basically, um, we have to break all these crates under the time limit. And as far as I know, we get two different Shine Sprites from this place. And you can actually ground pound while you're in mid-air after ground pounding on another box, and it actually really helps speeding things up. That was great, you're the best, and I get the Shine Sprite. Oh yeah! Actually, wait, I still have over two minutes to actually commentate, so I'm not sure what I'll be doing after this. Unless, of course, I did a rough cut. I don't, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I did a rough cut or not. I don't know. If it, ran, if it ends randomly, then at least it'll explain that I kind of rough cutted it, but unless, of course, I randomly get a Shine Spark. Never mind, this is the end of the part, so I'll see you guys in the next part.